AI research just got so much better because now you can use the new DeepSeq R1 model to search the internet directly and also add citations. So I'm going to show you three methods you can use to basically make DeepSeq R1 your personal research assistant. So the first one being we can use the expensive approach here. If you have a, a new AI agent, you want to connect to your DeepSeq or your open router accounts and use the DeepSeq R1 online model. Now, if you do not find it, let's say if we add a note here called AI agent, this AI agent right here. Now, if you do not find a new open router chat model that is directly integrated into N8N, as you can see here, the open router chat model, you only need to go to the left-hand side of your panel right here, and you need to click on the updates because you have not updated to the last version of N8N, and you need to update it to the last version. You can just follow the steps there. Now, once you have updated, you can just add the open router chat model. But the thing is, you need to connect to your open router account. So you can just click on uh, create new credential. And here you want to go to your open router account and you want to go to credits and then just add some credits in here. And once you've done that, you can come over to keys and then you can make create a new key and you can copy that key and you can come back over to your edit and workflow and you can paste that API key in here. Click on save and now you are connected to your open router account. And now the thing you can do is you can actually find the DeepSeq R1 model. But the little tricker is that you can actually make the DeepSeq R1 model search online on the internet if you click on expression and just add colon online afterwards after the DeepSeq R1. So when you've done that, you will basically be able to, as you can see, I've done this for this, you know, this little chat model right here. So what I can do now is I can chat with this model. And as you can see, it has now created a summary for me and it also added these citations in here for the top sources that it used to create these key data points. And as you can see, it also citates or have does have citations for these different URLs inside of the little article it created for me, which is super duper nice. And as just to check that it actually uses these uh, URLs, we can just click on them and go into these uh, sites to see that this is actually a news article that it used to create the summary for me. As you can see, this is CBS News on Los Angeles. So this approach is super nice and super simple. The only problems with it is that it is actually taking a lot of time. It took like 30 seconds just to make that summary. And also that it is quite expensive. As you can see, when I go into my open router account here and went into my activity, I actually, you can actually see that we spent $0.04 just to create that summary. So a cheaper and a lot cheaper approach you can use is that you can actually just create an AI agent and add the DeepSeq model through a grok.com connection. So I, I'll just show you how to do that. If we just have a fresh AI agent here, we can just add a chat model. I just need to turn on my camera again. There we go. Okay. You just need to add a grok chat model. And in here, we want to use the DeepSeq R1 model. There we go. And to add your Grok uh, credentials, you can just click here and just click on create credential. This is completely free, which is super nice. And it is the fastest API you can use for uh, integrating AI. So you can just go over to grok.com. This is not uh, access Grok. This is just grok.com, which is a fast AI in inference. And what you can do is you can uh, log in and you can head over to your dev console. And in here, you can just click on your API keys. And you will just be able to create a new API key and copy that. And you can head back over to your NSN workflow, paste that in here, click on save. Then you have your Grok account that you can use for DeepSeq R1, which will be super fast. Uh, and what you can do then is you can just add a tool called SERP API, which is something we use to search the internet because uh, this uh, DeepSeq R1 model does not have the capability to search the internet and go into different websites, etc. So we need to add a Google search uh, tool, which is called SERP API. There we go. We found it there, but then we lost it. SERP API. There we go. Now this is uh, again, super cheap, but the thing about this is that it cannot go into each of the different websites on the internet and it cannot create citations. So that is why it is cheap. It is not the best option. So what you can do is just to add your uh, new credential here, you can just head over to SERP, uh, SERP API and just find a credential, find your or add your API key from there. 
same thing we did with the grog.com. So now I'm going to show you how this cheap approach works. As you can see, when I test this AI agent, what it will do is it will go ahead and uh, basically get me what happened in Los Angeles recently, which is the text I gave it. And I also gave it a system message to use the SERP API to basically get the recent events about the, about the happenings in Los Angeles. But the thing with the SERP API is that it is only a Google search. So we cannot go into each website and basically get the citations. So as you can see in here, when I get got this uh, summary, it does not have any citations. So this is a cheap approach, but not the best approach. So now I'm going to show you the best approach you can use to basically use DeepSeek R1 as your personal research assistant using web search. So the, the strategy we used for the first AI agent was to use Deep or Open Router's online web search approach. But as you can see here from the docs for web, for web search in Open Router, this is actually super expensive. Or it's not super expensive, but we can use a method that is a lot cheaper. So what we can do is we can actually use uh, DeepSeq R1 as, well as a planner for the web search we use in Perplexity, which has a built-in web search approach, which is so much cheaper than the Open Router Online approach. So what we can do is we can basically uh, set a first uh, node as the chat message received. Then you can uh, you set up a basic LLM chain node here. And I just asked this node, as you can see here in the description, I just asked it to use the chat message it received and basically uh, perform or create a nice prompt that you can use for perplexities online uh, or a web search uh, node uh, for it to make a nice uh, web search. Because the thing with the DeepSeek R1 is that it's actually really good at reasoning and planning out. So we will use that for planning the web search we are going to do with perplexity. So again, you need to use a basic LLM node here and you need to connect to your open router account, which you again can use the same account you used previously. And then you can use the DeepSeek slash DeepSeek R1 model. And we can just test out this step to get to see what we get as our uh, output. The output we got. So as you can see, this is a really nice summary we can use to search or basically a nice prompt we can use to perplexity to search online. So what we can do now is we can test out, out this step in this uh, agent right here. We only need to define below what we need, want the text to be. We can just add that text from DeepSeek R1. Now we can do what we can do is we can click on test step. As you can see, we now got the la latest headlines from January 18th, from January 7th, etc., etc. So that is the best strategy you can use to basically have your DeepSeek R1 be your personal research assistant. If you enjoyed the video, again, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.